Um, I mean, it got off to a rough start for everybody. I mean, with three three and outs for the whole um, offense the first three times. So I don't put that all on Trey by any means. I um, thought the whole offense was sloppy to start. I thought he had a real good um, second drive, leading there on the score. Um, made a hell of a play on the touchdown. I know it was almost a hell of a play for them with the pick, but that, that was the last guy on a boo leg. Um, it flashed, and he put it on him, and that guy came in and tipped and made a good play. But fortunately, Dwelly was there. Um, wish we got that short yarder so we could finish that drive. Uh, it was hard to not put him in in the third. I guess people would say, well, it was not a good play because it should have been a pick. But you're, you're saying that was his last read? Yeah, I mean, there was an open hole, and he, it was nice that he saw it, flipped and went for it. I'm glad he tried to rip it, and it was a tight window. I mean, could put a little bit more in front of him, but the guy came and made a good play on it and um, ended up working out for us. How difficult is it to evaluate like Trey Lance when he's under that kind of pressure? Um, I mean, it's all the same. I mean, there's pressure in these games, and that's how they are. So I always take all that into account. Twenty dropbacks for Lance, seven handoffs. Was that the, it's a little uncharacteristic for your style of play, Harlem? Was that the plan coming in? Or how did it unfold like that? When you go three and out, unless you're running it three times in a row, the numbers will get skewed. Um, so it's I mean, you're always throwing on the third down for the most part. So I think it got like that, and um, it's just usually when you don't play a game, it doesn't balance out. So it's kind of just how it went. It wasn't the plan. What did you see from your uh, young running, yeah, young wide receiver group out there? Um, I thought they did a good job. I mean, we, we sat a number of guys, um, and so we want to put some pressure on those guys, play them a little bit more than um, you do in a preseason game, especially Ronnie Bell, Tate Martin, getting all that playing time. Um, thought they did a good job. I mean, Tate made it, I thought, almost a hell of a play, didn't get his feet inbounds, and um, thought Ronnie did some really good things. And the return game had that good jet sweep, made some good passes. Um, his best route was the one he served up to him on the pick, so that was unfortunate, but uh, I thought those guys did some, show some good things. So overall, how would you sum up the trip counting the joint workouts? Uh, I mean, we've got two good practices against them. Um, I always like it when you can do that, and we practice real hard the second day, especially with all the ones. So that's always good so we don't have to dress any of them today. And, you know, I didn't enjoy that game by any means today. Um, but a lot of guys got a lot of valuable reps and gives them a chance to make our team and gives them a chance for us to coach them up tomorrow. How was uh, Sam today in terms of getting the play in and – all the logistical stuff his first time through. Yeah, he was great. All three of them in terms of getting the play in and getting us in and out of the huddle. I mean, there, there was no issues at all. Did you feel like they were going through the reads appropriately, or is that hard to tell at this point? Um, no, it seemed like it. I mean, we uh, we didn't have a very good run game. Had a couple drops. Um, you know, had a few sacks. We just didn't play well as a whole. But um, there was no. I don't think there was many big mistakes on a misread or anything. Oh. Yeah, I thought he did a great job. I mean, coming in the second half, and you're in there with twos slash threes on the O line. Um, same with you know the receivers and everything. So, um, you know, we wanted to be careful with Sam for that reason, but we also wanted him to play too. Um, so it was nice to be able to get Trey the whole first half, get Sam a little bit, and um, hopefully Sam will get a little bit more time next week. I'm not. I mean, it's unfortunate because I know the pressure on him when everyone's looking, and I know he missed those two today. But um, he's been great in practice. He's hit them all. You know. I was just excited to attempt a long one, um, which was fun, but until it was missed. Um, but he's been great. He handles himself well, so I mean, no issues here with me. Kyle, you had two fourth downs where you, you didn't kick the field goals. That you just want the offense to stay on the field, see if they can continue the drive. Or was yeah, it tied were, to Moody at all? No, they are both fourth and ones. And you know, the first one I think was third and six. And I told the offense, you guys got two plays here. And um, but it was frustrating. I wanted us to finish that drive and get more reps for the guys, especially the quarterback, and um, we didn't convert on that fourth and one. Yeah, I was assuming that maybe he wasn't. Maybe they something else happened. But um, yeah, we're trying to get out of here too, so we want to go back home. We've been here too long. Kyle, sorry if you already been asked this, but what did you make of Ambry Thomas's performance? I thought he did a good job. You know, I think Ambry, you know, starting off in OTAs, and, and all the way to training camp, he's um, come back a different player than he was last year. And um, it looked like that from the sidelines. I thought he flew around, made a couple tackles. And I'm excited to watch him on the f um, plane when I see the film. He was off to running for his life. But 
I mean, were there, I'm, I'm sure you have to look at it, but were there opportunities where there were quicker decisions you could have made? Yeah, that's all. I mean, that's always the case. I mean, for anybody in this league, um, you know, when there's a bunch of sacks, the line gets blamed too much. It's always usually there in the middle. Um, there's places we get people out and, I mean, in our room, we're always hard on quarterbacks. You know, you try to look through every way possible on how to not take the sack. and um, But you don't just avoid those by throwing picks and stuff, too. So we'll look at it. We'll see what his um, chances were of being able to get those off. But I thought a couple he definitely couldn't, and a couple he probably could have. All right, thanks, guys.